Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to do front page. And we're going to work for a company called Autos Design. You'll create a style sheet, you're going to edit it, and you must measure, you must create a style sheet. All the color codes are in hexadecimal. Create a single style sheet called tmcp.css. Okay, create a single style sheet called tmc.css. How do we do that? Go start, open up the front page, and there it is. Okay, we're going to just do this so we can get this paper in here yeah, and see what's going on. Okay, so we go file, file, new. More page templates, go to style sheets, and you go OK. Once you've got style sheets, can you see the new page dot one underscore one dot CSS? See this HTM? You click on it and you close it. Otherwise, you guys will get confused and start working in HTM. So just have a dot CSS file open. OK, it says we must save it TMP CP. So we go save as go to your desktop, go save it as TMP PC dot CSS. Save as type, highlight it CSS. Can you see that? CSS, CSS. And you save it. Is that right? Is it the right name? You can see it there. What's the first thing we got to do? The body. Highlight it so you know what you're doing. Okay, take a highlighter pen in the exam. So you go to styles. First thing we got to work on is the body. Okay, modify. Okay, format. Okay, where do we find the body? We find the body in the border. Borders and bodies, that's where they belong. Okay, what must we do there? We've got to go and put a picture in. So you go shading, background picture, go browse. Okay, go to your desktop. Find it in your folder. What's it called? J1431BG, BG for background. Open it. And go get. And okay. Okay, now we're going to go to H1. Can you see there? There's H1. All the data about H1. But if you look further down, you'll see there's H1 in another table. Which me and they said it's in hexadecimal. Can you see it's not not 40? They actually mean it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 40. Okay, so you go up to the H1. Font face. You go there, click on HTML tags, go to H1, modify, format, font, font face is Arial, you start typing Arial, and there it comes up, you move down, Arial, and click there, sans serif. Can you see that? And now it must be the font face aerial center line 32 pixel, 32 px. At this point, you would have put PT there. Okay, what's the color? You move it down there, 0, 0, 0, 0, 40. Click on color there, more colors, click on any color. I've taught you this. And you go, actually. Let me click on that. Zero, 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 40. Okay. And you put it in there. There's the color. So now you go back to H1 and alignment must be center. So you go OK, format, paragraph, alignment must be center. You go OK. There you've done that, okay? 
So we've done H1. So we move on to the next one. What's the next one? H3. Go to H3. Modify. Font base. Serif. So serif. Serif is a small one. So it's going to go to the big one, which is New Times Roman. And what's the font size? Font size is 16 px. So we go 16 px. There we go. And fully justified. We know that in paragraph. So we go and look for the color. So 40, 40, 40, 40. So we go the color and. It must be 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40% 40, 40 red, 40% green, and no blue. Okay, go, okay. And there it is. Now we know we must go to the paragraph. <clears throat> go to paragraph, and what's alignment? Must be fully justified. Click on there. Justified. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's H3 done. <coughs> Next one we go to is P. Okay. Where's P? Go to P. And there's P. Modify. What's P? Must be sans serif. Oh, well, we know that. Sans serif is the long one. It's going to the short one. What's the short one? Aerial. Aerial. Okay, go to Aerial. It actually tells you that Aerial is sensitive. What pixels must it be? 12 pixels, 12 p px. If it's this point, you would have done pt, but they want pixels. 12 pixels. What's the color? Come down to the color. 0, 0, 0, 0, 80. Okay. So, Zero 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 eighty, and you go K, and there it is. What else do they want with C? Fully justified. You go to paragraph, click on paragraph, you click on there, and it's fully justified. Go K, go K, K. What's the next thing? LI. LI stands for list. You click on list. What do they want? A numbered list, alignment left. Okay. So let's do the alignment. Left. Okay. Go back there. And we go down to numbering. They say numbered list starting at one. Well, there's numbers and there's one. You click OK. Okay, so there's your list. And yes, table. Okay, now there's a trick with this table. Can you see these internal grid lines? It doesn't belong in the table. It belongs in TD. Where's TD? Let me show you. There's table and there's table dimensions. Internal, anything to do with the internal? It's got to do with TD. Okay, the rest has got all to do. Or collapse, you don't do it yet. I'll show you where to do it. Okay, so you go table and let's do it. What do they want with the table? All solid lines. So you go to the border. See, you want to put the border of the table solid lines. So you go, up. can you see there? Solid. What do they want? External lines with three pixels. The external lines of the border must be 3 pixels. You got 3 px. Okay, can you see that? 3 px. What's the color? The external border's colors. This is the external border of the table. Okay, ff, ff, 0, 0. So we go here. Okay, go there, more colors. And it must be ff, ff, 0, you type it in. I knew it was yellow. Because I know it already. Okay, so you will type in FFFF. You'll click on any color and you'll type in FFFF00. Okay, 
and then you'll go okay. Okay, can you see that? It's made it yellow, three pixels, solid. Okay. So we've done that. We've done these two. Can you see we've done these two? Plus, we did the things. If you had a highlighter pen, you would highlight it. So you know you've done it. Okay. Now we've got to do the width of the table and the height of the table. Where do we do that? Well, it's got to do with the position of the table. Go to position. There's width. Can you see that? Must be 600 by 300. Can you see that? There we've done it. And you go OK. You go OK. The next thing we've got to do TD, because we haven't done TD. TD is the internal stuff. So that's quite easy. You go modify, go format, border, solid line. OK. I don't tell you solid, but it's got to be solid. What's the color? We know what the color is by now. It's the same as the other one. F, you'll type in your FFFF00. You'll go OK. What's the width? Internal grid line width 1 pixel. You go 1 PX. Can you see that? And that's it. You go OK. And you go OK. And there's everything. Body, body, H1, H1, H3, H3, P, P, ally, ally, table, table dimension. Ex internal stuff goes to table dimension. Remember, we haven't done collapse. Can you see that? Now, they don't tell you to do this, but do this, because you'll forget otherwise. Go file, page setup, put your name, student number, and your center number in there. You go K. You go file, and you print it immediately. Okay. And then you save it. Because you've done all this, you need to save it. If you don't save it, you go file, save as, and you've got to save it in your folder as TMPC. Okay, I'm going to make a T TMC B10A, because then I know it's that one. Okay, and there it is. Now, what does it say? We printed and we saved it. Most important, you printed it and you saved it. Why you save it? Because you're going to link it to your style sheet. It says, open the web page, J14 TMPC. Okay, so, you go file. Open. Go to your folder. Okay? It's in your folder. You click on it. You go open. And there it is. Okay. Let me show you what it looks like. There it is. What's the first thing we got to do? If you look at it, the question paper. Question paper says open the web page and attach the style sheet that you created in step three. Okay, there it is, that you created. So, you go to Format, you're going to link it, you go Style Sheet, Links, you go Add, and click on the one that you created. Okay, there it is. You go, okay, now look what it's going to do to this thing. And there's your yellow internal and external lines. Can you see there? The one is thicker, and the other one's a bit thinner. Okay, can you see that? So that's quite cool. Okay, let's make this a bit smaller so we can read. <coughs> In the okay, where's what's it, where we are? Edit the HTML attributes for the JPEG so that is 300 pixels wide and 300 pixels high. So they're talking about this picture in your web page, not the one in the folder. The one in your folder is the original picture. You don't want to touch that. So you right click on this picture. You go to picture properties. Okay, what do they want? 300, yours is going to be like that, if you do type in yeah, it's not going to work, because look what happens to that, if you type in 300 yeah, it changes it there, so you don't want the aspect ratio, click on 300, and you put in 300, and you go okay, and look what happens, 
Okay, so the picture becomes small. Remember what I told you. In this table, all collapsed. Remember, I told you I'm going to show you where we do it. So I'll show you now how to do it. You click in the table. Okay, you right click. You go to table properties. Can you see there? You collapse the table. You go, okay. Let's go look in our code and see what our code says. Watch there. Style, border, collapse, collapse. It's there. Okay, can you see that? So that's quite cool. It's there. Okay, what else is going on here? Okay, and then it's just basically hyperlinking. Okay? It says in the text, holiday company, or by clicking here, make only the words, clicking here, hyperlink. Where is clicking here? Clicking here is there. Make it a hyperlink. You right click, hyperlink. And what do they want you to do there? In the text, um, make only the words clicking here, hyperlink to open a web page. Can you see here on the left? We want to go to a web page. You click on a web page, and there it is. You put, put the address in. Okay, you guys got to type it. Lucky for me, I can copy and paste it. Okay, so I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it. Okay, then it said in the new windows, or a new target, you go target frame, new windows, and they want to call it Manta. So you take a screenshot of this one. You go, okay, you take a screenshot of this one, and then you go, okay, okay, and you put in your evidence, okay, then they said in the text that starts email, as for details of a mentor, make only the words email, a hyperlink to an email address, that's quite easy, hyperlink email, hyperlink, and click on email address at the bottom here, and the email address is to tmcp at cie dot org can you see there dot org dot uk with no subject so you take a screenshot of this and you put in your evidence sheet and you go okay then it says in the same paragraph make only the Text, click on this link, a hyperlink. Click on this link, a hyperlink. There it is. You can even do it in your code. You can highlight it in your code. Okay. And you click on hyperlink, and there it is. And it must go to the same place, tmpc, tmcp, at cie.org. And in the subject line, you must put donations. Donations. Okay, can you see that? Donations. Take a screenshot and put in your evidence sheet. Okay. So you've done that. So then place a copy of the HTML source code in your evidence document. That's quite easy. Go to code. There it is. Go to file, go to page setup, make sure your name's there, go OK, go file, and you print it. Okay, you put in your evidence sheet. Okay, that's done. Then what does it say? Save your web page. So you go file, save as, make sure it's web page, put in your folder, and give it a name. Can you see there? You give it your name and you save it, okay? And then it said, open the web page in a web browser, place a screenshot of this web, a screenshot of this web page in your evidence document. It's quite easy. Go preview. And you can take a screenshot. Okay, you can even I think go in view. Uh, Let's go 
just when you see it. Anyway, so there is. There's different ways of opening in, in your browser. Preview in browser, you can go there. File preview in browser, and you click it on like that. <coughs> and there it is. This is the actual one. You take a screenshot of that, okay? And you put it in your thing. And that's basically front page. Okay, it's actually quite easy.